Hey, what's up creatives? Adrian Boysale here. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something that's been weighing really heavily on me. Something I wanna share with you guys that I think is really gonna help you guys gain some different perspective than what I'm normally used to talking about. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about passion or profit. What do you go for? In my career, I've spent a lot of time, I'm telling you a lot of time, focused on the profit. Now, because I love doing graphic design so much, I have put a lot into it with my passion and it's grown the way that it has because of my passion, but I've pursued profit for many years as part of my passion. One of my hearts and one of my passions is being a designer. That's never going to change. Once a creative, always a creative. And so in this video, I wanna share with you three things that I think are really important things that you need to be thinking about if you wanna focus on having passion or you wanna focus on profit. So here's my question. What is most important? Is it passion? Is it the fact that you just get to do graphic design, web design, motion design? Or is it profit, that you just wanna make as much money as possible, that you wanna have profit, you wanna build a team, you wanna build a graphics company, and you wanna build a brand? These are two completely different dualities. I'm the kind of person that loves to surround myself with other people. And so for me, I went towards the profit side because if I'm gonna have people come onto my team and be part of my company, I need to generate more revenue to be able to pay those people and pay them well. I don't want anybody working for me and being and having to struggle or not get paid what they're worth. This is really important to me. So I picked the path of going after profit. Now, if you're on the other side of the fence and you're focused more on the passion side, there's three things that you need to know and you need to be looking at. For me, I look back at my career and I think about my design career at the very beginning. When I first started doing graphic design at the very beginning, I just wanted to prove myself that I was a talented artist. I wanted to show people what I could do. It wasn't about the money. And because of that, I was furiously pursuing my growth, my design skills, and everything that I wanted in my life to become the best graphic designer possible. And I knew that in the beginning, I was gonna suck. But all I needed to do was find people who would see the value in who I am as a person and know that I was gonna do my absolute best. And because of that, my graphic design skills got better and I continued to grow those skills. And through that, I focused on the passion and the passion was something that fueled me to becoming better and better. I wanted to continue to give my clients the best result possible. Now, I'm not saying that if you pursue profit, you can't give clients a great result because if you charge a lot of money, you can go hire the best in the world and have them do the design. But if you take pride in being a designer and this is something that you love to do, this is something I want you to focus on. The second thing here, and I think this is really important, is when I was at the very beginning of my career as a brand new designer, I'd never done graphic design full time. And when I moved into that world, I started focusing on watching tutorials and watching trainings and reading Photoshop books and reading design books and learning about it and surrounding myself with other designers and modeling other designers. I was consumed by it, I was obsessed. I couldn't do anything but learn about design. I wasn't learning how to grow a business. I wasn't learning how to grow a team or how to be a leader or how to do SEO or how to make YouTube videos, right? All of my energy and time went into being the best graphic designer possible. And this is important because this is what took me from a level two or a level one designer to a level eight or level nine designer in a very short period of time. I moved very quickly. So this is the second point is if you focus as much of your energy as possible on just becoming the best designer possible, you're gonna move really fast because if you're not obsessed, you're just gonna be average. And so for me, I was obsessed with learning design, learning the tricks, learning the, the little techniques that I could use to help my artwork stand out from everybody else's and get that client that best end result, something that I would be proud of. When I designed, I designed with my client in mind, but I also wanted to design something that I would be proud of. Basically, long story short, when I designed, I was designing for myself, something that I was proud to show to the client and 99 out of 100 times, the client always loved what I did and they were so impressed. The third point I want you to think about and just perspective and mindset I want you to have, I talk a lot about the things between your ears is your brain. I want you to have a good mindset and that is creative fulfillment. I was so fulfilled that I was just getting to be able to do art all day long. I spent 12, 16, 18, sometimes 24 hour shifts doing design. And I was just so happy that I got to get paid, even though it wasn't a lot of money or even good money, that I got to be paid to use my artistic and creative abilities. And so that creative fulfillment, there's something to be said for that. And I wanna advocate that if you're not focused on making 
$100,000 a year, $80,000 a year, and you just wanna be a designer and you wanna make decent money, focus on just becoming the best designer possible because you're gonna find a lot of fulfillment in that. After a certain amount of time, I think it was about four or five years into my journey, I started to get that itch. I wanted more. I had reached a certain level of my career as a designer. I had won of design awards. I had hundreds of actually thousands of clients at that point. I had a lot of success and I wanted to reach that next tier and that next level. You might not be at that. This video is intended for the person that is new to design. This is the person that has never been a professional graphic designer in their life and they just wanna get started and they wanna do design and art for a living and they don't care how much they make. That's who this video is designed for. If you're already an experienced designer and you're trying to level up and make more money or get more clients, I have tons of other videos for that. But this one is to help my fellow creatives that are just starting off in their career, move a lot quicker, learn how to become very, very skilled as a creative, learn how to actually move at the light, speed of light like I did. I mean, I was working crazy hours, learning and honing my skills. And third, they wanna be fulfilled. They wanna find fulfillment in being a designer and being a creative. So if that's you, definitely hit the like button and subscribe button on this because I wanna be able to meet you. Drop a comment down below. What's more important to you? Is it passion or is it profit? I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.